So hello everyone. Hello. So is there anyone here who grew up on a farm or enjoyed the company of animals? Really? Yeah? Okay. Great. I did too. I actually grew up on a small farm too. Um, well, did you know that cats, dogs, goats, ducks, and horses are just a few examples of animals that can be adopted through adoption agencies? You can get parrots, lizards, just about anything. Right. Well, today we're going to discuss some of these agencies and what you can do. There are many types of adoption agencies with animals looking for forever homes, and yours might just be the perfect fit. Even if you live in a barracks, you can always hide fish in your closet. Already done it. One of the most Dying. important parts of animal adoption is deciding if and what type of animal is right for you and your family. Opening your heart and home to a new pet or by volunteering can be very rewarding. Let me begin by telling you a little bit of pet adoption and how you can get involved. There are, many, did I already say this? there are many types of adoption and rehoming services for all types of animals to fit you or your family's needs. One service includes state rain humane societies and personally owned animal shelters. Most of these types of agencies specialize in the care and adoption of cats and dogs. When enough funding is provided, these agencies try to offer a pet already spayed or neutered with updated shots and sometimes my purchase. With these already taken care of, it takes off some of the stress added to adopting a new family friend. And it helps with some expenses because most times the fees for these are included in your adoption fees. The internet is also a great source to refer to whenever looking into adopting a new pet. Websites that can be used to find local pet adoptions include Craigslist, Fort Campbell Buku, and even RescueMe.org, just to name a few. Through internet services, you are more able to find just about any type of legal pet. So like I said, we're not trying to adopt lions and tigers. They are legal in some states. Oh, what? I mean, legal. Pet rescues are also another great place to look into when trying to find a perfect fit for a pet. These usually cater in rescuing abused, abandoned, or feral animals. Although it might not sound as appealing, these animals, like others, need DLC, but they also require a lot of maintenance and more attention. So make sure that it fits into yours and your family. So first you should ask yourself, what are your personal needs from a pet? Are you looking for companionship, protection, or environmental gains? These are important questions to ask yourself before committing to adopting a pet. I'm sure all of you understand what I mean by companionship, but may be unsure what I meant by environmental gains. So to elaborate so there's no confusion and you understand what I've meant, let us say that I have a farm and I'm looking for pets to help me with grass control and bugs in my garden. For these issues, I might look into maybe adopting a goat for grass control, maybe even a horse. And for my bugs in my garden, I might look into getting chickens. You just let them free range through there and eat all the bugs. So with that in mind, let us move on to deciding what type of pet it is that you're looking for. By deciding what type of animal you want, figuring out which adoption agency will be much easier to find. Lastly, you must ask yourself if you're able to provide an ideal lifestyle for the type of pet that you're looking into adopting. If you are considering adopting a duck, you might want to make sure that you have some sort of water source, whether it be a, a, a small um, pool outside in your backyard, or that you live near a pond or a river that you can take it to daily. Also, house pets such as dogs require a lot of attention and care, so if you know that your work schedule will conflict with letting them outside to relieve themselves, this might not be the perfect fit for you. So now that we have decided whether or not a pet is right for us, Let's talk about how you can pursue an adoption or even possibly volunteering if you're not ready for the type of commitment from adoption. One way about going on an adoption would be to visit one of the shelters we discussed earlier. These agencies usually allow you to spend time with the pet in, in a other location before making a final decision. You can also utilize the local newspaper, feed stores, or internet services. If you aren't sure you're ready for a pet, you could also look into fostering an animal temporarily or volunteering at your local shelter. Many shelters are over capacity on animals and unable to house them. So by fostering your home until an adoption is made can have a huge impact by taking, stress from the, taking off stress from the agency and ensuring a safe home for the pet. Most agencies are also always welcome to volunteers. By doing this, it could help you decide if owning a pet would be right for you. This could not only positively affect the animal, but also you. As you see, there are options for every lifestyle of person looking to give back to animals, to help animals in need. So please remember, when thinking about animal adoption or looking to see if an animal is right for you, there are many options for deciding if a pet is right for you, such as rescue agencies, animal fostering, and volunteering your personal time. 
I hope that you all leave here knowing that there are many options for pet adoptions outside of your local pet store, and whether you decide adopting is or isn't right for you, it's always an option. Volunteering is always an option. Thank you. Woo. Outstanding. What's the time?